guys, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make a working quest system in Roblox Studio. So let's get right into it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's go. So, so is there a free GUI into a start GUI? You're going to have a quest UI. Add a frame. Rename it to mainframe. Set the anchor point to 0.5, set the position to 0.5, set the size to 1, set the background transparency to 1, and then, do, and then add a frame inside of it and rename it to quests frame. And then set the position for the X, make that 0.01. For the Y, make that point zero 0.03. For the size, for the X, make that point 0.15. And then for the Y, it makes that point 0.3. Yeah. And then add another frame. Not text, but add another frame inside of that. And then rename this to quests. And then set the position. For the Y, make that point 0.2, and for the size, for the Y, make that point 0.8, and for the X, make that 1. So, now we have a little gap there. And I'm going to make this point 0.25, and then make this point 0.75, and then add a text label, and able to title and then set the font to whatever. I'm going to just do this font. And then do that stuff. Make this size for the X, 1. For the Y, 0.2. And then you can decorate this however you want. I'm going to just do it like this. And border size pixel zero. That looks fine. I'm gonna just make this quests. And then duplicate this, put it inside quests, and add a UI UI list layout inside of that, and then set the padding to like 0 0.05. And then rename this to Template. Set the text to loading. <coughs> and set the size to. You, all you gotta change is the X, make that point 8. So it looks a bit better like that. So now you have a little UI right there, so create a local script and put the template inside the local script. Rename, you can rename the local script to whatever, I'll just rename it to handler, and then do local collection service equals game get service collection service, and then local quests main frame equals script dot parent way for child quest frame local quest frame equals quest main frame way for child quest and then local quest equals brackets one equals brackets and then Let's do quest equals collect apples or whatever, and then objective equals brackets type equals collect. Also add a comma there and a comma after that, and, and then let's do.
let's just do that right now. Wait, no. Item equals apples. And then do rewards equals brackets. And then gold equals one. And then, so this will be what you get after you complete the quest. <coughs> Sorry. And then I'm gonna do like XP equals five. And then create a function local get quest. And then quest. Also get the template. So local template equals script with a child template. And then do local current quest equals one. Oh wait, I forgot to put function. So, so local new template equals template clone. And then new template dot name equals quests quest dot quest and a new template dot text equals let's do quest dot quest dot dot space bracket dot dot oh yeah also we Current amount equals zero, comma, amount equals like five. So the amount is how many of this we need. And if you're doing like a touch thing and not a collect thing, you do not need this. So dot dot quest dot objective dot current amount dot dot slash dot dot you can copy this and then change current amount to amount and then new template dot parent equals quests frame so what that'll do Oh wait, I forgot to get quests and then quests, current quest. So what that'll do is that, which I forgot to add something, dot dot, and yeah. And then local tag equals collection service get tagged quest dot objective dot um let's do item so inside of tag editor you need to create a new tag which with the item name and then also, before we do this function, do repeat, wait, until game is loaded. So that'll do is it will wait one frame until the entire game is loaded. So let's do four unders underscore comma item in pairs ta tag do item dot touched connect function hit also above the touched function oh yeah
and then above the touched function do local has item equals false and then if hit dot parent find first child humanoid and and not has item then has item equals true and then do quest dot objective dot current amount plus equals one oh whoops one and then if quests quest dot objective dot current current amount equals quest dot objective dot amount then new template dot text equals quest completed and then task dot wait one new template destroy so what that will do first let's get like an apple like that and then scatter this around one two three four and five and then give all of these the apples tag so now when we play it'll show that and I forgot to do something. Copy this and then paste it here. So now it'll show how much apples you have gotten. And if you get all of them, it'll say quest completed and it will destroy itself. So let's do something else real quick. So if quest dot objective dot type equals collect, then we could copy this for loop and put it in there. And then else if quest dot objective dot type equal equals like touch you can do something else but I will not be doing any of that and we also need to make real quick the rewards to work so server script service add a script game dot players up player added connect function per Local L equals instance dot new folder and then L dot name L dot name equals leader stats and then L also inside of here put comma plur that will put the parent instantly and then local G equals instance dot new number value comma L and then G dot name equals gold and then local XP equals instance dot new number value comma L and then X XP dot name equals XP so when we join it'll show XP and gold so now if this is done <coughs> then we will do another for loop so for underscore comma reward in pairs quest dot rewards do and then we need to get the player so local player equals game dot player so local player local leader stats equals player dot leader stats and then 
And then leader stats. Well, we need to. So first, let's edit this. So name equals that, comma amount equals that. So now we can copy this, paste it here, and then XP and five. Also put both of these in brackets. Leader stats, reward dot name dot value plus equals reward dot amount so that should work so once we get all of these it should yep and it works so that will be it for today's video on how to make a quest system in roblox studio so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.